Now a story you'll see only on News 4. How many of us have dreamed about what we would do if the Powerball numbers on the lottery website matched the paper ticket in our hands? The luxury cars we'd buy, the job we might quit, the people we'd be able to help. Well, tonight, News 4's Jackie Benson has the story of a D.C. man who was suing Powerball and the D.C. lottery for refusing to pay out a $340 million prize last year after his lawsuit claims his numbers came up on their screen. I'm not a regular, uh, except for when the jackpot goes up. On January 6th of last year, D.C. resident Joseph Cheeks bought a Powerball ticket using a personal combination of family birth dates and other numbers. Mr. Cheeks did not see the drawing, but on January 8th, he pulled up the D.C. lottery website on his laptop. He saw his numbers. He took this screenshot. But the numbers posted on the D.C. lottery website this is Powerball. Good evening, America. We're not the same as those pulled in that Powerball drawing January 7th. His lawsuit claims his numbers remained on the lottery's website for three days, and the size of the Powerball prize at that time was $340 million. And I got a little excited, but I didn't shout. I didn't scream. I just politely called a friend. I took a picture as he recommended. And, uh, that was it. Yeah, I went to sleep. Mr. Cheeks attributes his somewhat low-key response to being deeply immersed in his work at the time. He's trying to create a home trust bank that would make loans to people who don't qualify for traditional mortgages. The crisis of the home ownership uh, 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 situation here in the district, Virginia and Maryland, uh, tent cities over at the State Department, tent cities at Union Station. I know it's unheard of, and I've been criticized for saying that, but uh, the F word for foreclosure would not stand on our, on our, chart, on our uh, contracts with people. In his lawsuit, Mr. Cheeks says when he tried to redeem the ticket at a licensed retailer, the prize was denied. At the D.C. Office of Lottery and Gaming Prize Center, Mr. Cheeks says he got another denial. He says he also got a request from a claims staffer. Hey, uh, this ticket is no good. Just throw it in the trash can. And I, I gave him a, a stern look. I said, uh, in the trash can. He goes, oh, yeah, just throw it away. You, you're not going to get paid. There's a trash can right there. Mr. Cheek says he put the ticket in a safe deposit box instead and contacted a lawyer. The lawsuit filed by attorney Richard Evans claims Mr. Cheeks was eventually told that a lottery contractor, D.C.-based Teoti Enterprises, accidentally posted the wrong numbers, that it was a mistake. They have said that one of their contractors made a mistake. I don't, I haven't seen the evidence to support that yet. So even if a mistake was made, the question becomes, what do you do about that? There is precedent for this. A similar case happened in Iowa where a mistake was uh, admitted to by a contractor and they paid the winnings out. News 4 has contacted by email Powerball, the multi-state lottery association, Teoti Enterprises, the contractor, and various D.C. government entities named in the lawsuit along with their attorneys of record. We were told there would be no comment on the ongoing litigation. Jackie Benson, News 4.